this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make the Celtic Weave Stripe Hobo Bag. And you can do this one of two ways. You can do it horizontally or vertically and you can choose before you start sewing it together. It's up to you. But the, stri the strips are made exactly the same. And I've got five strips for this one and five strips for this one. So you can color it any way you want. I just kind of alternated the making the center strip one color and then the outside a different color and then I would change the color around on the next one. But you can make it all one color if you want. But uh, given the way I made both these bags, the main color, which is the one I used to make the, the handles of the bag and the top part here of the bag, uh, is considered the main color. And you're gonna need two skeins of yarn for the main color and only one skein for the secondary color. The yarn I used uh, is worst weight yarn, um, four ply for the US, 10 ply for Australia, and I also used a five millimeter hook or size H hook. You're also going to need a stitch marker of some kind. You can use uh, bits of uh, yarn or something like that, or if you have a stitch marker, then feel free to use that, but you're gonna need one. And that's it. So go ahead and grab those things and we'll get started. Okay. To begin, you wanna start off by chaining 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And you want to double crochet, and this is row one, you want to double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So you want to count one, two, three, and do a double crochet in that third chain. And then you want to work a double crochet in the rest of your chain all the way down. So go ahead and do that and I'll see you back here in a moment. Okay, when you get done, you should have eight double crochets. For row two, you wanna chain one and turn. Now, the first two stitches of this row, you're gonna to wanna to do a half double crochet. So about a half double crochet in the first one and then half double crochet in the second one. Now, this is where we start our Celtic weave. We're going to be working with triple crochet, so go ahead and yarn over twice. Then you're going to be working with the fifth and sixth double crochets here. So you can, these two here are for the first two half double crochets. Then you're going to skip the next two, which is three and four, and you're going to start right here on this fifth one, and you're going to pull up the post like that. And you're going to work a triple crochet. And you'll do the same thing with the sixth one as well. Pull up the post and work a triple crochet. Now you're going to do another triple crochet, so yarn over twice. And now we're going to be working in these previous two, which is going to be the third and fourth double crochets. We're going to start in the third double crochet. So count one, two, three. You're going to be working with that third. You'll come in front and grab up that post and work your triple crochet on the third on the post of the third double crochet. Now you have this one in between here that is the fourth double crochet and you'll work a triple double crochet front post double crochet on that which leaves you the last two double crochets so you want to do a half double crochet in this one and a half double crochet in the last one. You'll always begin with two half double crochets and end with two half double crochets. So in these last two. So that's the end of row two. So for row three, chain one and turn. After every uh, triple crochet cross stitch like this that we're going to be doing, you want to do a single crochet row. So we're just going to work one single crochet in each of those eight stitches. Six, 
seven and eight. So for row four, again, the first two stitches of the row, you're going to work a half double crochet in them. And now you're going to be working with the triple crochets from the two rows back. So you're going to be triple crocheting again, so yarn over twice. And now we're going to start by triple crocheting on this, this uh, two sets of triple crochets that are right in front. We're going to start with the one on this side first. So grab up the post of that first one and work a triple crochet. Then you want to grab the post of the next, go under it, and do a triple crochet. You can see now because we worked on those first, it started to go this way, and the other one's going this way. So it's already pulling. We want that to show so we were, we're going to be working the next set of triple crochets now from behind. So you're going to yarn over twice and then it helps to pull it forward and you can see that these there's two stitches. This is where you just did your, your two stitches onto this one. There's these two stitches in between. They're the two stitches that's connected to the triple crochets down here. So you're going to want to actually go down here and pull up this first which is the third stitch of the row and then this one which was the fourth stitch that you worked on the third and fourth double crochet in the first and the second row. So yarn over twice and find that first triple crochet that's behind there and work a triple crochet and you'll do that for the next two. And I recommend if you've never done this stitch before that you check out my, be my beginner video on this that I did an interweave Celtic uh, strip blanket. No, not the strip blanket, interweave uh, stitch, I believe is what it was called. I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can find it. And I have slow motion in there and you can see all the stitches and what I just did because it can be hard to see on camera but I think I got a good shot of it in that video. So go there and check it out and it's exactly the same way uh, that you do this. The only thing is that uh, that one's much wider scale. This is just the strip going back and forth. But the principle is exactly the same. So again the last two stitches of the row are going to be half double crochets. And then again, after you've done one of these uh, triple crochet rows, you're going to do a single crochet row. And you're going to be repeating these last four rows that I just showed you over and over again until you get the length that you desire, whether a 25 uh, size like I did the horizontal one here which is pretty big or you can do the 20 which is what this is the strip of 20 then after this row you want to chain one and turn then you'll yarn over and your first two stitches of the row are going to be half double crochets now yarn over twice and go in this is your your third and fourth stitch which is the uh, and it's sticking out forward and then you have the these two stitches that are kind of hiding behind it which are the fifth and sixth stitches of the row. Now you want to come over here and work in the fifth triple crochet and I'm working in not the wider part of the uh, triple crochet but there's like a smaller section here that is uh, like the top of the triple crochet where it's connected it's smaller and it is better to work there because if you work under you have these two little lines on either side that's actually going to after a while start to fold your piece so it's best to work in that part of the stitch and this is the part I'm going to use here so I'm skipping my first two triple crochets and I'm going into the third the one that's hiding behind and I'm putting my triple crochet on that and then on your sixth 
It'll work your triple crochet. Now this is where you can see you have one going in this direction and then this one is also going in this direction so that uh, when you see that you know that they're both obviously not supposed to go in the same direction so you know that you need to go in front to cross in front. So this row will be going in front and picking up this which is the third triple crochet of the row, the third stitch because the first two are half double crochets and then you'll do the fourth triple crochet. And when you get done, you can see now it's kind of, it's pulled on that way. Now you've got this kind of Z pattern forming. And again, the last two stitches of the row are going to be half double crochets. And this last one's sticking on me. Okay. And again, after every triple crochet row, We'll be doing a row of single crochets. Seven and eight. Okay, you want to chain and turn, and your first two stitches are going to be half double crochet and now again we're going to start working with the farther one first before we work with the first one so you're going to be working on your fifth stitch and do your triple crochet on that one and then you're going to work on the sixth stitch here and work triple crochet on that one now this one you'll be coming from behind so you want to go from underneath here and grab up your third sometimes you have to look here there we go grab up your third stitch and then again you need to come back here and find the next one which is the fourth stitch of the row then work your half double crochets then you'll chain one and turn and you'll do your single crochet row. So, so far I'm getting my Z pattern. Now these two make their first peak. So I'm counting this is two because this is one and two. And then the next peak is three and four. And I'm gonna continue on for this, for this size purse I'm doing a 20 and for the other one I did 25. So you can make your strip as long as you want. And then when you get done with your strip, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the outside round. Where I got in blue here. Okay, you want to make sure when you're done with your strip that you end after a single crochet row. And when you've got your strip as long as you want, you're going to want to grab your other color. And you're going to start find the bottom of this triple crochet here because you're going to be working along the side anyway. So it's best to find this very first double crochet, I mean the very last double crochet of the row and, and find the stitch that it's going in, that you worked it in, and then attach your yarn there. So my double crochet here was worked into this stitch, so I'm going to go into that same stitch and I'm going to slip stitch my new color on. Then you want to chain three and you're going to find the next, see this is your next double crochet and this is the stitch that you worked that double crochet in and that's the stitch I'm going to slip stitch in on this side. And you're going to continue doing that, that down the row. Chain three, find the next place you worked your double crochet along the side and keep working your chain threes. Continue to do that all the way down your side of your... Okay, when you've reached the end, I'm going to just cut that thing. That's really annoying. Scrap yarn anyway. It's going to chain. Okay. So, 
you've reached uh, you changed three at the end here and now this is the very last uh, d double crochet and usually you would slip stitch in the place where you did your double crochet but there isn't so you're going to do it right there on the top part of the I guess it's the chain so you're going to work it right in the chain top of the chain two then you're going to want to chain five one two three four five you're going to skip over three so you're not counting the very first one you're counting you're going to count the next one so one two three and then this let me see just make sure skip three the first one says skip two one two and i do it here then one two three i do it here okay so for this one i'm going to skip three at the beginning which puts me here in the center and then i'll chain five again three four five and I'm going to work it in the very last stitch of the top. Just try to make it centered here. So for the other one, it was, uh, I must have worked it here in the top of the stitch and I must have skipped my first chain two. So if you work it in the chain two, you want to skip three. And if you work it in the first double crochet, go ahead and skip two. So it just depends on where you decide to put it. Then you'll want to chain three again, and now you're going to be working on the other side. And there's going to be, um, I know it's hard to see, There's this is the double crochet, and there's always going to be a little piece of string that's an indicator that underneath is where you want to put your, your stitch, your slip stitch. So I'm going to chain three again, find my next little space here my little line indicator and slip stitch. You can uh, also count by, you can go, there's one big, there's a space here and then there's a bigger space here. See, there's like one little space and one bigger space. I usually try to go for the bigger space. I'm like going every other little space. So like every other space, put a uh, slip stitch into chain three skip this first space and go into the next one to do your slip stitch. Skip this next space and then go into the next and then look and see if it's somewhat lining up like you have on the same kind of footing. One is not so much more than the other one and mine isn't. It may be slightly off but it's still basically the same. It's not going to look funny. Try to get them aligned as much as you can. Even if you have to, you know, slip stitch right in the next one to get it to line up. But mine is looking good. It's not, it's not off. So at the end here, you're going to slip stitch on this stitch which will bring you back up to the top. Now you want to chain five again, three, four, five, and then one, two, three. Okay, so this one I slip stitched into the stitch on top here. So here, I believe it's a one, if I, the ending stitch I'm going to be here. Then one, two, three, then one, two. Okay, yeah, so this one is going to be only skip two, one, two, and then the third, I'm going to slip stitch. Remember, this is the last row you did when you were doing your strip. Then you want to do five again, four or five, which will bring me over to this very top stitch on this side. Then you'll do your final one, which is chain three, and then go into the same stitch where you first began your slip stitch. And that will finish that whole row. Now we're going to be working in these little sections here that we just made, those chain three spaces. We're going to slip stitch into the very first one here. And you'll chain two. And then you're going to work inside that chain three space two more double crochets. The chain two that you did at the beginning will count as your first double crochet. 
So you'll have three double crochets in there. A chain, actually, but actually it's a chain of two and two double crochets. Now for the rest, you'll be working three double crochets, three double crochets, three double crochets, all worked in that chain three space. I'm not going into any stitches this row. So continue to work your three double crochets down your chain and when you get up to the these top ones here you'll work because this is a chain of five you'll work five double crochets in this one five double crochets in this one and then when you get back to the chain three you'll go with your three double crochets three double crochets three double crochets till you get back up to your other side which is five chains and five chains and you'll want to work five double crochets in this one and five double crochets in this one the only difference is the ends where you'll be working your five double crochets the rest are all going to be three. Okay, and when you've done that, you can see this one. See, I have my five double crochets here. You'll want to slip stitch in the beginning of the beginning chain two that you did. And then after that, you'll be here. So you'll be like, you've done your five, and then you'll do your, I guess, your last three here. So you'll end up here. So you want to go ahead and just uh, chain one, cut your yarn, hide your tails. And I'll show you how to sew these pieces together. So I worked from the back. And I think I used only my blue yarn, yeah. Which I don't have a lot left of. I may have some still back there, I don't know. So I'll make my slip knot here. And you want to turn your work where the back is facing you and this strip as well the back facing you and then you can line them up like this and then you'll pick it up so now you've got back side back side so basically you have the two good sides two front sides facing you and of course you uh, and remember I should say you have your five and five your fives on the top you want them to line up There we go. Okay. And I'm going to start not with the fives, but there's the space in between after the five where you know your first set of three is about to start. You're going to be starting in the first double crochet in your chain of three here. And I'm only going to be using the back stitch. So I'm going to go in through the back stitch only on this side. Then I'm going to find my first double crochet of my chain, I mean my double crochet, my three double crochets here, and I'm only going to go through the back stitch. Of course here you can see that this is the front stitch and this is the back stitch. I'm only going to be going through that back stitch. And then you can slip stitch or you can uh, single crochet. I'm just going to do a slip stitch. And then line them up and continue to do this all the way around going through those back stitches only this is exactly the same way that I sewed my lacy flower square squares together for that afghan that I have in the previous tutorial I'm just going through back stitches only and you're working with the back of your project facing you and you want to continue to sew them together like that until you reach the last double crochet of the three on this side. You don't want to do the five. You want to stop here in the last double crochet of the last set of three that you have. And then you'll, you can chain one and cut your yarn. Okay. So I just got done with the sewing and now I have the five here I don't want to work on so I'm going to go ahead and chain one and cut my yarn and then you will have your, your two sewn together now continue until you have five completed and I'm going to have them facing this way this time on the back so I'm going to fold it and half this way just so I can work on it. I mean it's going to be on your lap probably so you don't have to 
but anyway I'm gonna start with the side that's facing me the way I want it to go to make my front side of the bag so grab your main color that you want to use for your handles and again we're going to be working with uh, the tip only so you have five and five here the corner I mean the uh, end pieces of your strips and I'm going to start in the very first of the first five and I'm going to slip stitch my color on now I'm going to start gathering since I slip stitch in this first stitch this is still going to count as one and then I'm going to go into my next stitch pull up a loop that'll be two then going through the next stitch and pull up a loop that'll be three I have three loops on my hook later you'll have four so it's only for this very first one just make sure you have your three stitches then you'll want to yarn over and pull through all three of those then you continue on your next stitch pull up a loop do that stitch then your next one pull up a loop through that and then your third now you'll have four loops on your hook like you will for the rest of the time and then you'll want to yarn over and pull through all four loops then you'll continue again one two three pull through all four loops you're going to continue to gather your stitches this way so one and then I'm going to count one double crochet on this side as one of my stitches and then I'm going to hop over and count this next stitch here which is sewn and count that as my third then I'm going to continue on this uh, last one that I slip stitched into was the one that we sewed these two together that was the end of my third now I'm starting uh, the very first double crochet on my chain five here I mean my double crochet five here so I'm gonna go in one two three then I ha still have two stitches left of my five on my end piece I'm gonna go through those two and then the beginning of my five on the next here and try your best not to get too big of a loop in between here you don't want it to be too tight but you don't want it to be too loose so just continue working it down and again I'm going to go through one of the stitches that are sewn on this side and the other stitch that's sewn on the other side which will bring me now to my very f my uh, very first stitch of my next five and just continue to do this all the way down until you reach your last double crochet here on the the five of the tip of the strip the very last one continue until you get to that and then I will be back okay so I got all the way here and now I only have one stitch on the end that needs to be I mean that's just on its own so I'm just going to slip stitch in that one and bring it in so that it, it leaves me in my very last stitch here of my five my tip and that's it now you've gathered let me back up a little bit there okay now you see I've gathered the whole top part now we're going to be working in a row just for this uh, front sides when you go the front and the bottom so you'll want to chain one and turn and now in these stitches that you just did you're going to be uh, working one single crochet in each of those so you just did all that all that gathering I'm gonna go ahead and do one single crochet in this first one then you can see the bigger stitch here one single crochet one single crochet one single crochet just work one single crochet in each one of those till you get to your last or your very first uh, decrease that you did okay so once you've single crocheted all the way to the end count your single crochets that you have some may be different and given the size uh, 
it could also be different just from uh, the stitches that you, you used. But it's just important to count how many that you have. And I have 20 stitches here. My last purse, I had uh, 26. So, let me back up just a little bit. So, this is what we're going to be working in, these stitches here, to get, to get this part of the bag. And it's kind of diagonal like this because we're going to be doing decreases. So this is the part between my two fingers and it's going to be kind of diagonal like that on the ends. And we're going to be working um, six rows total because we want six rows for our strip of our bag. If you want more rows for the strip, like maybe you don't, you think this is too thin and you want to maybe go eight, then go eight, eight rows here too. Just try to keep it even to this so that you don't have a big old fat front part of the bag and then some skinny uh, strip. So I try to keep whatever rows I do here, I do here. The first important thing is to get to the correct amount of stitches that we need. So we're going to be decreasing some each row until we get the desired um, stitches we, we have here. On the maroon bigger bag that I did I had 26 and I decreased on each side so I decreased at the beginning using the first two stitches to decrease them down to the one and then I also did the decrease on the end which brought me down two stitches every row and it took me one two three four rows to get it to how many stitches that I needed but I needed a total of six rows. So the last two, I just did single crochets. Once you reach the amount of stitches that you need, just do the rest of your rows uh, single crochet. So um, I have 20 stitches and I want to get on the smaller bag here, 16 stitches. The bigger bag, you want eight, 18. This one, I'm going to do 16. So I'm going to decrease in my first and my second um, my first and my last stitch until I reach uh, 16 stitches. So if I have 20, I'm going to decrease by two. So this next row will be 18 after I get done. And then the next one will be 16. So actually I only have to do two more rows of decreasing. And then the last three rows will just be single crochets. And this is the pattern that you'll follow as well. So I'm going to chain one and turn. So for the very first and last row, uh, stitch of the row, I'm going to do a decrease. So I'm just going to go in one, in one of the stitches, then go into the next stitch, then pull through all three, making those two just one stitch. And then you're going to continue to work one single crochet until you get to your last two stitches, and then you'll do a decrease here. And remember, keep doing the decreases, one per row, I mean two per row, the first and last stitch until you reach the desired uh, stitches that you need. 16 for this, this uh, medium sized bag and then 18 for the bigger bag. Okay, so I got done with my uh, rows. My first two were my first two rows were decreasing and then I just went back and forth, back and forth for the rest of my four rows that I needed. And remember you wanna end after a row with a good, size, good side facing you. So once you've got that last row done, the good side's facing you, I'm going to go ahead and chain one and we're going to be single crocheting down the side. For my last one, I say it took me six stitches to reach um, my first stitch down here where we, where we start to decrease again. You want to work down the side until you reach your first, there's your first set of three. Remember we stopped at the end of our our uh, tip here where we had our five double crochets. So we're going to start our decreasing pro process here. So I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to work a single crochet down the side. So I'm going to go in my first single crochet, work one there, and down here, there's three, 
is four. I'll skip over here and do one in that one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I managed to get down there in six, and nothing's pulling, and it looks nice going down the side, then that's good enough. Okay, now the very next stitch is the first of that set of three. So I'm going to start my decreases again, grabbing up those first three stitches, decrease. And now you're going to start doing the same way of decreasing down the side of your bag. And you're going to continue until you reach the, this is the last uh, three set of double crochets on this side. You're going to stop here. And then we need to place a marker because when we start the tip again, this is going to be our other side of our bag and we're going to be doing the exact same thing we did on this side. So grab a marker and be ready to mark once you get done with this last decrease on this corner. Okay, just got done with gathering my last three here and then we've got your first five of your tip here. And you're going to continue to decrease down like you did before until you reach the end the last stitch of your five of your tip here on this top section. But you want to make sure that you know which is the first decrease on this top part of the bag. So we'll do the decrease and then we'll mark it with a stitch marker. So this is the first three stitches of my top five here. Do a decrease. Then I'm going to go ahead and just do my next decrease here pull up. Ooh, just don't want to lose that stitch here. Okay, then you want to get a stitch marker. I'm going to use my little heart sprinkle stitch marker. And I'm going to mark not the one I just did, because I just did that one um, to bring myself a little farther in, but this first stitch. See, there's the second stitch I just did. This was the very first stitch. I'm going to place the marker right there on the stitch itself. And then I know this is my very first stitch of the row. Now just continue your decreases as normal like you did before until you reach the last stitch of the top. And then we'll be working back and forth in rows again. So just continue. I finished my last decrease, actually ended perfectly on the, on the last set of five here, and then my very next stitch is the first set of uh, three going down the side. So I'm done decreasing. So now you wanna start your set of single crochets. This first row is just going to be single crochet. So single crochet all the way here till you reach your marker in this stitch here, and then on, come back, okay. So after you get done with your first single crochet row, again count your stitches. This time I have 18 instead of 20. Um, so I want it to be 16. So all I gotta do is decrease once here and here, and then I'll finish my rows with just plain old single crochet. And you do the same. Adjust your stitches how you need them to get the correct uh, stitches you need, and then just finish up with single crochets. Remember that you wanna end with the good side of the bag facing you, and then you are here in the last stitch ready to continue on because we're gonna have to also decrease this side too. So I will see you back here after your last row of single crochets and you're on this side ready to go. Okay, so we made it to the last stitch on this side. And again, I'm gonna chain one and you're gonna work down these side stitches I did six on the other side, so I'm going to try to get six on this side. Two, three, four. My very first of my chain, I mean, my very first of my three double crochets is here, so uh, I'm just going to do one here. I got two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I have five, so maybe I can get uh, one in this big space here and than here. There, that looks better too. So I got six on this side and then this is my very first stitch. Okay, so now we're going to start our gathering just like we did before. And you want to continue to 
gather until you come up to your to to this side and then we're going to do our six stitches to get us back up to here our six uh, single crochets so first you're going to work until you get to your last double crochet on your last uh, set of three double crochets okay so I just did the last uh, gathering of these three and now I'm on my side here now I'm going to try to get six stitches along the side like I did before it's two three four five and six okay six bring me up to the side of my original top here I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm not gonna chain I'm gonna show you how to do the single crochet foundation stitch but I'm gonna go ahead and pause the tutorial here because I need to charge my camera because it's about to go down so I'm gonna go ahead and just pause the video I'll see you back here in a second after I charge my camera okay I'm back and where we left off we just did our single crochets down the side which brought us up to here now we want to do our single crochet foundation stitches and depending on how uh, you like to carry your bag if you like to carry it over your shoulder and have it like around your hip uh, let it, where it falls um, then you want to do about 70 um, single crochet foundation stitches and if you want it to be a little bit shorter like maybe onto your uh, upper side kind of your arm a little bit more then do 60 and if you want a handbag style uh, then do about 40 or 50 depending on how um, long you want your handle so to make the single crochet foundation stitches you want to start off by chaining two and you also want to remove your marker and move it up to this side so that you'll remember as you continue on where you begin so you'll know when you want to end so I'm just gonna mark just this side of the bag it doesn't need to be like a specific stitch or anything okay so you're gonna start off by chaining two then you're gonna go in through the first chain pull up a loop yarn over pull through only one of those loops then which will create a chain and then you'll yarn over and pull through both which creates the single crochet so you're creating the chain and the single crochet all at one time then you'll want to go back in there's like two little stitches here looks like which is the side of the single crochet and then there's this other one which is the actual chain of the stitch you want to go down into the chain this lower one and then pull up a loop pull through only one then pull through both then you'll continue again and if it helps to look at it from the side it's more easier to see the single crochet versus the chain and you're going into the chain so you go through there pull up a loop pull through one and pull through two and you want to continue to do that I'm going to go down one two to the bigger one and pull the loop pull through one pull through two and you can count your stitches on the side so far I have four so I'm going to continue to do this for this bag until I have about 60 and then I will see you back here okay I just got done with uh, my single crochet foundation stitch uh, you can see it's I did 60 so you want to make sure that it's straight so the stitches are there on top then you can just run it through your fingers follow it down to you reach up to your hook again you can take your hook out make sure that you put it where everything is straight and then you want to go down not the top but one of the side stitches that we the first uh, side stitch uh, single crochet that we did when we started down and you want to uh, uh, you want to slip stitch on that stitch to connect your handle then we're going to work down our single crochets here since I slip stitched in the first one then I'm only going to have five stitches down the side one two three four 
and five, and then this is the started our very first decrease down this side. My light on this side. Okay, so let's just keep going. We're going to just do a single crochet in each stitch all the way down your side until you reach up the side of this one till you get up to the very side stitch the very last side stitch on this side and then we're going to start our single crochet foundation stitches again okay I single crocheted all the way down and then up my side and then I'm going to start my single crochet foundation stitches again you do the chain two go back into the first chain only pull through one of the loops and then you'll never pull through both and then you just go back in through that first stitch again pull through one pull through two then you'll continue to do uh, the same length you did on the other side okay I just attached it again on the other side remember to make sure that it's straight that you don't have any twist and then again work down the other side of the bag down this way doing just single crochets until you reach back up to this side again your other handle made it back up to my other side I moved my marker down here just so because you just need it here so that you know this is the beginning you don't but it was in my way over there so I just moved it Okay, so I single crocheted until I got to the very last stitch, and this is where I uh, I had my, my, my double chain that I started my single crochet foundation stitch before. So the next stitch should be made on this actual uh, handle itself. Remember, you're not working on this part of the, of the bag anymore. So um, this is the first kind of chain get closer here looks like there's a chain here and then this is the first actual stitch this is the one you want to go you want to skip this thinner single stitch go right into the first single crochet which uh, I guess this uh, one here I see there's two stitches here I mean two uh, kind of like this see single crochet they always have the two there's one here too so I guess I'm going to skip this thinner part here and just go into this first one as my first stitch. And it's going to shorten that bit. So that'll be my first stitch. That'll be my second. And you're going to be working along now <coughs> your actual part of your handle. And since you already have a marker here, you already know uh, this is where you'll be ending your um, your handle. So this first single crochet foundation stitch that we did is row one of the handle. You're just now starting row two as you start to work over the handle now. And you will continue to single crochet all the way down to here. And then you'll start your single crochets on the side of the bag. And then again, all the way down till you make it back onto this side again. And then you'll do again what we just did. And you'll start your single crochets here, all the way down your handle. And then down, down this side of the bag again, which will bring you all the way back up to where you begun here. And then you'll start your third row. Um, I did six rows here, so I'm going to go ahead and go around my whole bag like I just showed you six times uh, well five actually because the first one is the you already did one row so this will be my second and then I'll go around a uh, total of five more times until my bag here I mean my my strap is six rows just like this so continue to do that to finish your bag and when you are ready to end your strap your strap when you get done with all your rows you'll go ahead and slip stitch here and right before the strap and uh, chain one cut your yarn leave enough tail to where you can hide your tail inside the single crochets that run along here 
and then you can put a lining in it or not put a lining in it and I'll go ahead and I'll show you some pictures of the finished bag and that is it that is how you, how you make what am I calling it again <laughs> that is how you make the Celtic weave strip hobo bag I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please don't forget to check out the website where I have all my uh, tutorials and also me uh, on Facebook as well because I share a lot of links to free patterns um, and that's it please don't forget to leave a comment down below if you have a question and um, or if maybe you have an idea for another project or something that you'd like to see on the channel I'd love to hear from you um, that's it thank you so much for watching